Welcome to the MacCap video tips and trick tutorial. I'm going to select my texture that I imported through the texture option here. And you can see I selected the flat color material. We need to select that because when I go to texture crop and fill, this will give the image the exact same shading and everything the image will look the exact same it won't have any different colors to it because if you try to crop and fill with a different material uh, you come up with uh, some different kind of results so we'll use this and when I crop and fill through the uh, import option the height and width of the image will resize the canvas size to the same size as you can see the image here they both resemble the same. We'll go over here and select the any of the matte cap will work. And if I open up the material palette, I got all the matte caps to the top and the default ones to the bottom. But I want to copy this matte and paste it. Now I'll open the palette back up you can see I got a third uh, palette to the top this is the uh, matte cap that I'm going to be altering I'll move it over here so you can see it well first I'm going to get me a spear here and before I do it I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. I've been having a little bit of bugs so I'm just going to create a layer here and I'm going to draw me out and try making me a chili pepper. Whoops, what's the move here? I got something close here and I want to make sure the MRGB is active before I exit edit mode that way when I start using the matte cap the 3D mesh over here will update now I'll select the matte cap I turn my draw size down I'm going to select the top of the, uh, I'm going to get a sample of uh, some of the color instead of the uh, highlight here. So I'll select here and drag out here. As you can see, the mesh over here is updating. And I want to get a little bit of a, uh, it's got a little bit of peach in here, see if I can get a little bit of that in there. Okay, now I want to get some of the highlight color up here, or basically the gloss to it. I'm going to hold down the control key and click. Then I'm going to actually drag. If you can see the preview of the little uh, spear there. then I let go then it updated but if if you see right here now if I'm going to, I'll do it again hold the control key down this time I'm gonna make the circle a little bit smaller this will give it actually a little bit more shinier alright that looks uh, something pretty close Let me go ahead and uh, layer clear that. And let me bring out this chili pepper here. Looks a little bit better when I just go ahead and uh, I'll poly mesh through that and just divide it. And 
and we'll scale it up a little bit. Now we can do some tweaking over here with a glossiness. But you notice that this is not affecting nothing right now it is because I did that on purpose because we left the mat cap option. So if I select back here, we'll switch this back over here. As you can see now it's updating. And there are some other kind of options. As you can see, this is actually called Channel 1 for the shader. Now, if I want more options, I'll just copy this uh, channel here. Now, I need to go find me a material with two channels. And the polka dot's got two channels. And we'll always select the Channel 1 for the matte cap and paste it. Now let me go ahead and clear this later and bring out the chili pepper again. Now if we go to channel 2, we got more options that we can use. And we got some of the curve options here. And you can still go to number one. And you got options here to choose from. So we got something pretty close. Let me see how close I can get it. That's pretty close. And I'll move it down here, scale this up a little bit. may need a little bit of tweak option here. We'll just kind of tweak this in. make a copy of that and we'll move that over here And for one final tweak here, select the mat cap. And there you have it. But anyway, that's the end of this uh, mat cap tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.